so good morning children uh, welcome back now to the new uh, new whatsapp classes so here if you see uh, just if you see the board the something has been written which you have already discussed it, let us just have a brief recap so what it is all about yes it is about the extraction of metals now we have learned that ex all the metals have been arranged in an order order of reactivity which is called as reactivity series so hence we have three groups in this reactivity series three categories let us say higher order middle order lower order the higher order nothing but the most the highly reactive metals and the middle order the moderately reactive metals and the lower order the least reactive metals so now we know the list of the um, metals in the order of the reactivity series so just let us have a brief recap ki how these metals are extracted so if you see the low reactivity series metals are extracted by two uh, in two steps okay and the very common example under this is mercury which is nothing but the uh, obtained from this ore called as what a cinnabar which is nothing but the sulfide ore so what is my step one converting the ore which ore preferably sulfide ore to oxide and what is the method i apply i apply the method of heating heating in presence of excess air thereby what do i obtain oxide okay and then of course sulfur dioxide is my by product then what is step 2 converting this oxide to the metal and how it is done again here also heating only but then with a limited supply of oxygen or limited supply of air am i clear so this is for whom step uh, for the uh, elements of the low reactivity series and why simply apply the heating process because they can readily be, since they are very least reactive they can readily be obtained from the uh, ores and the oxides by heating process by a sort of decomposition process okay then come to the moderately reactive series now again here also there are two steps now the first step as usual the heating process but again the heating is in two ways done one the roasting and the other calcination roasting is what heating which kind of ores sulfide ores preferably in excess air thereby obtaining water oxide good example we have taken of zinc okay zinc sulfide which is also nothing but called as zinc blend okay and then what is the product obtained oxide similarly i we also uh, use the heating process for the carbonate ores but in the presence of very less air or no air at all uh, so that is called as what calcination so zinc carbonate uh, converted to zinc oxide along with carbon dioxide fine children then what is step 2 step 2 again two ways of course both are reductions only one is reduction with carbon in the form of yes coke okay and the other is reduction with uh, higher highly reactive metal aluminium now the second uh, the second step can be by displacement with higher order uh, metals that is the metals which are highly reactive now reduction with carbon that is zinc oxide when i react when i make them to react with carbon it uh, that is in which form children coke results in the formation of zinc and release of carbon monoxide am i clear then reduction with aluminium the reduction with aluminium is brought preferably for the elements which cannot for the metals which cannot be reduced by carbon okay so like for example manganese similarly chromium these metals cannot be obtained uh, from their oxide form by reducing with carbon am i clear so they react with they can be obtained by reducing with whom aluminum which is highly reactive when compared to this metal okay so uh, manganese dioxide when reacts with aluminum it will re re result in the formation of manganese and of course aluminum oxide now remember children though initially it is he, the reaction is ignited but thereafter it results in the evolution of large amount of heat so if you see the metal obtained is in which state a liquid state am i clear so it will be obtained in molten state because there is an evolution of large amount of heat 